As you know, we wear ASOS kit here at GTN, and in the next few minutes, we're going to be giving you more details on the technology and the brand. We have some very exciting ASOS kit in these boxes, and the best part is we're going to be giving away a set of each. I'm going to be having a look inside these boxes and sharing the contents with you. And if you stay tuned, you'll be able to find out how you can get your hands on all of this in our giveaway. As obviously I personally wear the women's kit, I'm gonna start with that, but if you're interested in the men's kit, then you can fast forward by just looking in the description below and clicking on the timestamp. Right, I can't wait any longer. It feels like Christmas. It's time to start unboxing. And I'm gonna begin with the women's, the H La La Lay shorts. And I mean, to start with, in a pretty nice box. Now I actually wear this same style of shorts myself and I've ridden hundreds of miles in them. So I know that they are super comfy. Well, as you can see, these are black shorts, but they do have a splash of color. In this case, yellow around the gripper on the right leg. And these shorts are designed for women who prefer to ride without bibs. And ASOS say that they are designed to be ridden in hot conditions outside or even on the turbo inside. Well, heading back to this part of the short, this is a half leg flat gripper. And by that, it means that the grip is only actually on half of the leg, as you can see here. Well, that means that the short will be held firmly in place on the bottom of your leg, but it doesn't add any unnecessary pressure. So you won't get that dreaded sausage leg. Well, this fabric has had the ice color treatment, which ASOS say is designed to reflect sunlight and stop the shorts absorbing any extra heat, keeping your muscles cooler. Okay, it's now time to move on to arguably the most important part of the shorts, the chamois. Well, these shorts are obviously women specific and they have a patent protected free moving midsection here between the legs, which allows more freedom of movement for the wearer. And you can also see in there, it has an eight mil pad for extra comfort. And the final feature of these shorts, obviously they are bibless, so they have the grippers along the back, but then a nice wide waistband for comfort on the front. It's now time to address the top half, and this is where the fun begins, as it's all about the layering. ASOS actually label it ALS, ASOS Layering System, and they emphasize the importance of having the correct garment at each layer to get that ultimate riding comfort. Right, let's start with the first layer, or the base layer. This is the Hot Summer Skin Foil and it's made with seamless construction. So basically, it means there's less areas for any rub or digging in. Well, this fabric is engineered in what ASOS call the push-pull effect that's designed to work with your personal microclimate. So when it's hot, it pushes the moisture away from your body, and when it's cooler, it brings the moisture back in, so it works as a bit of an insulation layer. And the final feature, which I quite like, is this little feature here. Have a good ride. I will, thanks ASOS. On top of that, we have the SS La La Lay jersey, a women's specific summer jersey. And as you can see, this one is in a beautifully bright canary yellow. Well, it's certainly light, it's breathable, and it's cut specifically for women. And ASOS say it strikes that balance between performance and comfort, as well as having good aesthetics. Now, it uses this super light, stretchy, Sens classic Tex fabric. And to be honest, it's actually really soft. It's cut in the ASOS racing fit, which makes it tighter and slightly more compressive. And they say that results in a higher performance, more comfort, and less drag. Okay, let's flip it over and have a look at the back. Dun, dun, dun. And this very distinctive white panel is actually made of Stabilizer S7 fabric. And it's designed to be breathable, but amazingly, it also has sun protection, a UPF of 30. Okay, now let's move down to look at the pockets. Well, we've got a reflective strip here and a safety feature with a zip for the middle pocket. Very useful to keep those valuables from falling out. And another feature, it has mono stretch material, which means that your pockets will not sag. It stops the material dropping down and no one likes saggy pockets. And then finally to go on top is the Taburu Gilet La La Lay. Now this is a new thermal gilet that's designed for Spring and fall, let's have a look at this. Oh, nice. ASOS say it provides freedom of movement and high levels of ventilation. So it will actually keep you warm on those chilly mornings or those cool descents. And also it manages to keep you cool once the sun comes out. Here on the front, ASOS use the twin deck construction, which is a combination of the RXQ fabric and the Tibet fabric, which work together as a dual layer, making it more breathable. Also, they say it is packable, and it's great for that transitional environment that you can sometimes get in spring and fall. Okay, time to flip it over and have a look at the back. 
And one of the interesting features are the pockets. These are the triple ramp concept pocket, which ASOS say has been designed at a perfect height to make it easy to access. But most importantly, the triple ramp means there's an extra layer inside that will help hold anything securely, such as a slippery iPhone. You pop it in your pocket and then put it up under that bit and it'll stay securely throughout your ride. Okay, well that is it for the women's kit. I think it's time to pop that to one side and have a look at the men's. Well, let's start at the bottom. We have these T Akeep Evo Black Series men's bib shorts inside here. Well, these shorts have a brand new insert known as the Akeep Evo S7, and ASOS say that it's been designed to improve the ventilation through the front of the shorts, which will then increase airflow, and as a result, should mean you stay more comfortable for longer when you're wearing these shorts on a hot, long ride. Right, now onto the main part of the short, the fabric, and ASOS use a two-rate, four-way stretch, and then they treat the fabric with their ice color technology that we've already talked about that's designed to help keep you cool for longer. And these shorts are designed for racing, so they're most comfortable in a position when you're on the bike. And they have some compression as well to help with that, and then they have this feature of the single seam at the back of the leg, which just makes them that bit more comfortable. Okay, talking of comfort, let's take a closer look at the chamois. Now, ASOS use the Akeep S7 pad, which they say is designed to reduce friction like it does in the women's shorts. And they have a special feature on the stitching, which allows this midsection to move freely around the legs, therefore increasing freedom of movement for the rider. And then the final feature of these shorts, you probably notice this striking pattern on the back, and they have their wide bib straps as well. Right, next up we have the Hot Summer Skin Foil, which ASOS have used the same design as in the women's, so it has no seams, making it non-restrictive to wear. Well, this has the same textile flat bag technology as the women's top, so it works with that push-pull effect, which basically means when you're really hot, it takes the moisture away from your body and the heat away. And when you're cool, it keeps that moisture close, so you get that perfect microclimate for your body. Right, then on top of the Skin Foil, the next layer, we have the SS Keep jersey in holy white. Well, as we're at the front, we might as well start here. We have the lightweight 3D mini check material, which ASOS say increases the surface area and therefore it means it's more lightweight, it's faster drying and it increases airflow. Right, let's flip it over onto the back and it's got this distinct mesh for added breathability on the back. And then they have their 3D wrap pockets, which we talked about with the women's, which basically has an extra layer like this to keep your valuables extra safe and stop them sliding out of your pockets. This jersey is cut in a racing fit as it's designed to improve your performance, but it does have a rather nice flattering feature for when you do want to stop and enjoy your coffee. This black band at the back actually comes further around to the front of the waist slightly to make it more flattering on the physique. Now you've probably noticed this iconic asymmetrical ASOS design that's just on the left sleeve and there's also a feature here at the front, a slight v-neck in the neck which is designed for better fit when you're riding on the drops. Well, it has another very useful feature, this jersey. It's got some protection on the front and the back. The front, it's got UPF 25. And then on the back, even with this incredibly breathable material, it has a UPF of 30. And the final piece today is the Tiburu Gilet Equipe in the Men's Black Series. ASOS say this is a lightweight package of protection. And on the front, they use this twin deck construction. As you can see here, this double layer, which is designed to be high wicking as well as ultra insulating. So it will keep you warm when you need it the most. And for those occasions when you do get too hot, it has a full length zip to help with ventilation. And then at the bottom, it has this welded seam to help keep the gilet firmly in place. Again, this is cut in a racing fit, so as I'll say, it is slightly snug and compressive, but that's designed to improve your performance, comfort, and reduce overall drag. Moving on to the back of the gilet, and again, we've got the triple round concept 
for the pocket construction, keeping your valuables nice and safe here. And they're also using a two-way stretch fabric, which basically means you won't get saggy pockets. And then finally, nice safety feature up here on the shoulders. You've got these reflective tabs and extra flexibility around the shoulders for comfort. Well, if you want to get your hands on all of this kit in this great giveaway, all you actually need to do is click on the link in the description below, follow the instructions, and then keep an eye out because we'll be announcing the winners at an upcoming GTN show. And if you haven't done so yet, click the globe to subscribe. And if you want to know what you should wear when you're training in hot conditions, specifically on a turbo, we've made a video for that here. And if you want to look at a comparison between a road helmet and an aero helmet, we've done that here.